Uh, beautiful people, Sherry here from the Flex Giving Crew. How's it going? Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of your birthday wishes. It means the world to me and for also your love and support. Thank you. I read all of your comments and even though I can't uh, respond to all of them, I do read them and I do appreciate them. They give me the courage and the strength to keep doing this. So, all right. I love you. Cheers. Hey guys, what's up? Sherry here from the Flex Giving Crew. Okay, so this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for June the 28th until July the 2nd. Or, sorry, the 6th. My bad. So I'm going to be using the John Holland deck for the main energy. And my deck uh, for clarifiers. Okay. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to use, uh, I think I'm going to do the Divine Partnership, but a split reading. So um, beginning with how the masculine views the relationship or connection with the feminine. Three Pentacles, recognition and reward. Um, so this is a grounded energy. This is a successful foundation being laid. Um, so in the past position, the masculine got the Two of Pentacles. So there's a growth here. And the feminine got the three of pentacles in the future position, uh, well, present future position. So, yeah, there's success, there's illumination, there is seeing the fruits of your labor, and, but there's more work to do. Temperance, fool, and one moment. Sorry about that, my daughter just came in to give me a birthday gift. Oh. Beautiful. Aww. Okay. So, what was I saying? Um, okay. So, this is how you view the relationship with the feminine. So, you got the temperance card coming in the past. This is finding balance within all areas of your life. But it's also um, my ultimate union card for twin flames, but I'm not feeling that. Although that card was an overall energy for the reading, there's a sense <clears throat> that the masculine wants to move towards this beautiful balanced union energy um, and we see that with the full card so this is present position it is taking a leap of faith um, it is not having any attachments any expectations um, but desiring to start a new life um, and really not having any plans about the whole matter just going forward towards destiny so balancing foundation grounding and ready to take a leap of faith how beautiful and here we got the queen of cups so this could be a water sign um, but this really represents the divine feminine twin flame being um, his heart's desire water is about emotions um, she gives and receives unconditional love so he's allowing his heart to guide him So what is he resisting? Throat chakra. He's resisting communicating. And that's kind of interesting because this card showed up twice on the divine feminine side for the twin flame reading. Third eye chakra. King of Pentacles. And Six of Wands. So past position. We got the third eye chakra. This is intuition. This is um, the high priestess has her third eye chakra activated so it's a connection to your higher self um, so it is the subconscious mind this is where all of your past lessons all of your wisdom and knowledge that you've attained on your own journey is stored and so it's using your intuition very much like the Queen of Cups does as well she's very intuitive psychic ability so you know there's this activation that occurred with the masculine on two levels, the throat and third eye. Um, the present resisting position is the king of pentacles. So the feminine got this in her present position um, for the twin flame reading, present, present position. And so this, for me, it meant independence, freedom, financial um, independence, but not placing a lot of importance on the 3D world. Um, yeah, so that's really what I felt from her, was this 
successful energy and it related well with the end card the end message from the universe and that a lot of abundance was coming into her life so you know again this could represent an earth sign um, but really it's a divine masculine wanting to attain the same freedom the same independence um, that is more in line with this spiritual growth this spiritual path but he's resisting it so this is also the divine masculine in the 3d the one that you can hold and caress and kiss um, the six of wands is in the future position so this represents being the rock star being recognized for all of the spiritual growth um, and also that you're on the right spiritual path um, so people are proud of you they see you as an example and they emulate you um, so success is in your future so why is the divine masculine resisting these energies so I'm gonna pull an Osho Zen card it seems this week the masculines are needing more confirmation the reading is a little more complex than the feminine wow inner voice so last week the masculines were going within they were using their intuition, um, their inner voice. You know, it was almost like they were taking on the high priestess qualities. So now they're resisting that. If you have found your truth within yourself, there is nothing more in this whole existence to find. Truth is functioning through you. When you open your eyes, it is truth opening his eyes. When you close your eyes, it is truth who's closing its eyes. And notice that, you know, this is the high priestess, so this is the third eye chakra, opening the eye, the third eye, your truth, your wisdom, your knowledge from lessons learned, what is true for you, not true for anybody else. Um, so this is tremendous, this is a tremendous meditation if you can simply understand the device you don't have to do anything whatever you are doing is being done by truth you're walking it is truth you're sleeping it is truth resting you're speaking it is truth speaking you're silent it is truth that is silent this is one of the most simple meditation techniques slowly slowly everything settles by this simple formula and then there is no need for the technique when you're cured, you throw away the meditation, you throw away the medicine. Um, then you live as truth, alive, radiant, contented, blissful, a song unto yourself. Your whole life becomes a prayer without any words, or better to say, a prayerfulness, a grace, a, beaut a beauty which does not belong to your mundane world, a ray of light coming from beyond into the darkness of our world. Um, so that would be that ray of light. Um, so communication, the throat chakra, is speaking your truth, knowing your truth. Um, so he's resisting communicating this connection, this epiphany, this realization. Um, yeah. So all I can say is don't do that, guys. Open it up. Um, just for the pure fact that you're actually watching this video with me um, tells me that you're very intuitive and that everybody has that ability, has the power to, you know, tap into their higher self. So this next card is message from your higher self, sacrifice. So this is the hangman. This is surrendering, let a, letting go of control, and seeing things from a different perspective, a more enlightened perspective. Aw, Divine Feminine. Wow, High Priest. And the Solar Plexus Chakra again. So the Divine Feminine is coming in, coming in the past position. So this tells me that you, the Divine Masculine, have met your twin flame, um, and that not only do you recognize her as you know your true love but you know that you share this soul connection um, that is unlike anything you've ever experienced before and so what I see here is you're no longer fighting you're no longer resisting you're surrendering and allowing 
um, you're allowing things to be transformed in your environment. You are self-sacrificing, um, letting go of limiting b beliefs and things that no longer serve you. So surrender, letting go, so that you can allow this divine feminine to come back into your life. Um, so this is a goddess of love. This is the queen of love. So you got love on your mind. Um, the high priest is centered position, position, um, the present position. So uh, at, very connected to the, you know, the hangman here. In that, this is the crown chakra being activated. It is um, your direct connection to source, to the akashic records, to the collective consciousness. There's a super conscious mind, which is a crown chakra activation, then there's the third, uh, third eye chakra right here that you're resisting, which is your subconscious mind. Then there's conscious and then unconscious. So you're really becoming empowered. You are almost becoming this spiritual leader, um, or you have recognized this leadership in yourself. You're, you're starting to understand your higher calling. Um, so yeah, I see a lot of empowerment here and that's absolutely beautiful. So maybe you're just resisting communicating with the high priestess, either through the 5D or through 3D. Um, yeah, so again, this is enlightenment. This is someone who's a spiritual leader. So it's almost like this feminine, this connection with the divine feminine is really, um, enlightening you and as it should that's what twin flame connections are all about it's not about union it's not about coming together it is about helping each other awaken then the solar plexus chakra is in the future position so you will become even more stronger empowered and courageous um, and but it requires you to surrender see things from a different perspective continue to um, stay connected to Source and your Divine Feminine as well. She's right beside you, guiding you, helping you, loving you. Um, yeah, so... It's beautiful. Whoa! It's beautiful. And this card also represents manifestation as well. So, um, she's the creative... Um, She's a creator, whether it be, you know, birthing things, you know, babies and, <laughs> and stuff like that into the 3D world. She is the stargate, um, but also she's very creative, very artistic, um, very inspiring energy here. Okay, so um, your past position, balance. So either you've maintained balance or you've achieved balance, or you felt imbalance. This is karma coming back. This is justice. And um, I mentioned something about the justice card as well in the twin flame reading. So it could be, you know, legal documents or, um, you know, things turning out in your favor. Five of Pentacles again. Queen of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Wow, beautiful. Five of Pentacles. So this was showing up in the Divine Masculine's um, present position. Um, however, it's coming in the distant past. So this is a feeling of left, being left out in the cold. It is needing to release yourself by metaphorically shooting yourself in the foot. You know, you'll get, you'll, there'll be a loss, whether it be financially or just material, materially. Um, but you're willing to release that, let go of it because it means your freedom. Um, so that energy, even though it's in the past, it's still being drawn in to your present. So you're still in this disconnected state. The Queen of Swords, present position. This is what you feel you've um, been justified towards or from. The Queen of Swords could represent an air sign but for me, this is the, the ice queen. It could represent a karmic relationship, somebody who is 
unfeeling, unemotional, who has cutting words, who, um, you know, just uncaring, very thought, very, you know, in, in, in her head, mental control. But I see her as the Ice Queen. So there was a disconnect, is what I'm feeling like. There's a freedom um, or a desire for freedom. Um, so whatever this means for you, um, karma will come back in a good way. When the Justice card shows up, it means that things will work out in your favor. So if you began um, a process of disconnecting from this queen, then it will work out, especially with the Knight of Cups in your, or Knight of Wands in your future. Knight of Wands is an explosion. It's a blast out of the gate. Um, it is directed energy towards your future, towards um, your higher calling. This is spirituality. So from this cold chain, there was empowerment and freedom and uh, forward movement. Forward movement is big with the masculine, again, this week. So again, this is a, an exertion. It's um, exerting your will onto the 3D material world more in line with your spiritual path though okay your present position destiny very nice destiny's knocking on your door so this represents a completion of a cycle five to ten years um, but it also represents good luck and good fortune so whatever this is will come back to you through the justice card as well as the wheel of fortune so good luck good fortune Page of Swords, the Strength card, and the Ten of Wands. Um, now, if this is a person, this is a Divine Feminine, knowing her truth, being unwavering, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling a negative energy, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be a feminine energy, but justice has been served. There's, an there's a movement away, an excited movement away from... Um, a chain. So the Page of Swords is coming in, in the past position. So this is open, honest communication. This is my double communicator. Um, pages are messengers, sword communication. So there was a truth being spoken or a realization, um, a decision made uh, that is bringing forth this closure. Very interesting that the Strength card and the Ten of Wands are showing up in your present position because both these cards showed up in the present position for the twin flame reading so this sh showed up more in the past position so this is lo using love kindness compassion gentle nature in order to transmute and shape your environment um, but on a very subtle level when you allow for communication when you allow for discussion then it you know that environment creates um, truthfulness you know the ability to speak your truth so that's what I'm seeing here I'm seeing karma and truth and love and compassion um, being drawn upon in order to release yourself from this uh, ten of wands here again in the future position uh, this is an ending to feeling trapped in the machine the matrix working day in day out um you know for nothing you're you're it's almost like this bottomless pit of energy that's draining on you and you finally decide to do what you want to do so we got two ones here as well future position wow ace of cups Love begins. This showed up in the future position for the twin flame reading as well. So many synchronistic signs and progressions as well with the cards. Very lined up. It's awesome. Okay, so, wow. There is the destiny card again. Very cool that it's showing up in your present position. And here's the past. So it's an energy that's being carried forward. The hermit. And, wow, that's Seven of Cups again. 
as an outcome in the in the future, final outcome. Um, you had this card. Um, so anyway, two eleven, or sorry, two ones, which is eleven. The again, the destiny card is karma coming back. What goes around comes around. Okay, so this is the ending of a cycle that's completing right now. Completion. It completes, and that completion allows a new beginning to come forth. We have the Hermit card center position here. So this is someone who has acquired a lot of wisdom, knowledge, um, spiritual growth. However, the Hermit is someone who is detached from the material world, from chains that are binding him. And in the, the near future position, the Masculine got the Devil card. So that is that chain that is being released. Um, and so this card reminds me a lot of the movie Into the Wild, right? Where he graduates from university, he burns his money, cuts up his credit cards and lives in the wild. Um, so this type of person has already experienced a lot of spiritual growth already. So what I'm feeling here is a return out of that cycle. The cycle completes and there's a healing, wisdom acquired and a new beginning. However, the Seven of Cups it's in the future. So this is having a lot of options available and not knowing which way to choose. All the options are great, right? This came in with the two of pentacles. So there's like all these doors that are open and available. So there is change. Um, your desires are being manifested. And again, the meaning with this card is to follow your heart. Okay, so message from the universe, very nice, Ace of Swords, triumph and success. So the feminine had the Ace of Swords uh, for the foundation, um, and the foundation card was the magician. So, or was it the magician? Yes. Um, but anyway, this is decision made. Um, so it seems to me you've all made a major decision, um, and you're sticking by it. Um, so this is triumph, success. Um, the two of swords showed up in the feminine's um, final outcome. So here's that decision being made. I knew, I had a feeling that it was coming from the masculine. He made his decision. Here we have it. So this is cutting away darkness, barriers. Uh, it also represents communication. Ten of cups. Hangman again and aw, the Knight of Cups. So past position, Ten of Cups. This is completion. This is a feeling of a harmony, peace, um, the happily ever after card. This is abundance of love, harmony within the family and your romantic relationship. So this is just massive love here. He felt that love. And, uh, and he wants to move forward with the, the love. And he right now he's surrendering, letting go of control again with the surrendering. So masculine, this is a message from the universe to let go of those things that are stopping you. Let go of control. See things from a different perspective. Allow your heart to guide you. Okay, so we got an 11 here. And this is also card number 11. So 11, 11. Um, the future position, we have the Knight of Cups. So this is a knight in shining ar armor. Um, this is desiring a love and connection and moving forward with it. So Spirit is saying, yes, it's safe to move forward. Ultimately, you've made that decision to do that, to pursue love. And uh, so now we have that, mo that movement towards the Ten of Cups, to manifesting that Ten of Cups. But like I said, it does require you to let go of some things that are holding you back, which you already did on some level, but um, there's something you need to, you know, you're trying to find the power possibly to release yourself from a job is what I'm feeling here. You know, you've been carrying a lot of burdens on your back and uh, you know, if, if this isn't released by yourself, destiny is coming in and will um, 
turn the wheel for you. You can't stop destiny. It is like the clockwork universe. It ticks along. Your destiny gets closer and closer. You can take different roads, um, but ultimately you will always end up at the same place. Um, so don't fight destiny. You're, it seems to me like you're doing the right thing. You know your truth. Um, on some level, you've made a decision. That decision is being carried out. There will be an end to the burden. Okay? So there, you're, on some level, you will retain, attain your freedom as the hermit so that you can pursue this love that you've already, always desired or that this love will come in once you've um, ended this, whatever it is for you. Um, okay, so what is in your environment? Wow, the universe card. So this is the final piece of the puzzle being placed. This is the end of the fool's journey. You are ready to take that leap of faith and begin a new life with the feminine. Um, and here she re represents that completion, um, you know, the sense of this you know, struggle that has been going on for a very long time um, is worth it and that there's rewards, um, you know, a feeling of attainment. Um, and so it's your external environment, so that means it's a feminine. She represents at least that last piece of the puzzle. And once that last piece is placed, a new life will start, a new beginning. Um, so, yeah, this is a completion of a cycle of 10, 20 years, sorry, to a lifetime to complete. So this is massive illumination and accomplishment, achievement. Three of Pentacles again. Wow. Queen of No Fucks Given. And the Ace of Cups again. So Three of Pentacles. You feel grounded. You feel um, accomplished. Like, you know, there's a solid beginning. Uh, again, the two of you coming together to work towards, you know, completing the cycle together. Uh, the Queen of Wands is Queen of Fire, so it could represent fire sign, but really it's that thing that you desire, um, you know, the, this passion, this lust, this sexuality, but also it has to do with spirituality. So the queen of no fucks given, she is someone who's very charismatic, the center of attention, very powerful, leader, um, free-spirited. Um, so she, this queen of fire, queen, um, you know, twin flame fire energy is who you desire and that's what you're working towards. She's a final piece. And here's that ace of cups once again, future position. It's a movement towards beginning love with her. What do you fear? Wow, what is with the Seven of Cups? So this is the third time this card has, ooh, has creeped up. So twice it's the final outcome, you know, and but the distant final outcome. It's confusion. It's not knowing which path to take, um, you know, desiring to be free like the birds, but also in a meditative pose. So the masculine is on the precipice of making some very important decisions. So he's weighing his options um, carefully is what I'm seeing here. Why do you fear this? Sacral chakra, five of swords, and the five of cups. So, the sacral chakra was activated in the past. So, that, this is that emotional bliss that I was talking about before with the, you know, nine of cups, well, the ten of cups as well, and um, the uh, chariot, right? It's feeling like you've accomplished um, much <laughs> in terms of, you know, you're emotionally satisfied and lit up. Something happened in the past where it activated you on an emotional level. And uh, so that's kind of what sent you into this seven of cups state is making a decision. How do I get there? How do I, what do I sacrifice? You know, movement forward. How, how do I make that happen? 
um, you know, some things need to end, but that is happening no matter what. So decisions, decisions, five of swords, present position, that's the thing that you fear the most, is basically being called out. Um, the five of swords you got in the past position for the twin flame reading. So this is an energy you're, you're bringing in, uh, you're still bringing into the present. So you're afraid of conflict. You're afraid of, like I said, being called out. Negative energy being um, directed at you. So this is walking away from that energy, not engaging in it. But you fear it. So, you know, maybe you feel that this energy might be coming from the feminine. Um, well, if you continue to hold that negative vibration with you, you will manifest what you fear. The Five of Cups is mourning, loss, devastation, you know, deep heartbreak, pain on an emotional level. So if you hesitate um, or decide to stay in that devil energy, that chain, because of fear for, from opening your heart or moving forward, um, you will be stuck in that same cycle over and over and over again. You will repeat um, that energy, you know, desiring your freedom, wanting to get away from a negative finger pointing energy, you know, the, the ice queen, um, but then being afraid to express your emotions or feel love fully. And because you can't make that decision, you're going to continue to feel that heartbreak and negative vibration so really you know spirit is asking you to make that final decision no more fear um, let go of those things that are holding you back follow love you know follow your heart okay so I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy wow six of swords very nice so progression right you will decide or are deciding to walk away from that negative energy but i'm really seeing that you have made that decision bam it's done and that reading the reading reflects this energy very nicely decision to move on it's ending the cycle is ending and so that a new can be born of it freedom from darkness to light this is moving to calmer waters a calmer state of mind away from negative so that's awesome, guys. Love seeing that. Um, so I'm going to pull one card from Miss and Mermaids, and I'll read those to you. Or just one, sorry. This one. Mermaid with Pink Lotus. Number one. Wow. Okay. Okay. Mermaid with Pink Lotus, close your drowsy, dripping eyes and come with me to paradise. Leave your cares for just an hour to focus on a floating flower. Let the water soothe your flesh and leave you rested, fit and fresh. A fair mermaid uh, drifts languidly among a tangle of lily pads in a tranquil lagoon. A single pink lotus blossom adorns her hair. A second floats nearby in a pool. So relaxed is she that her slight movements do little to disrupt the surface of the water. The meaning, make an effort to relax. Stop what you're doing to take a deep breath. It's time to relax. You're not selfish, and that can be a blessing. Helping your loved ones is an important part of who you are, but sometimes it's okay to set aside your worries about others and take some time for yourself. Maybe you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Try not to let it wear you down. Instead, try these relaxation, relaxation techniques to improve your health and well-being so that's exactly what I'm seeing here as well it's like you know you've been carrying all these burdens you've been doing a lot of stuff for everybody else and now it's time to follow your heart and you know do the things that you want to do that bring you enjoyment that um, that heal you okay so it says here so these techniques um, Close your eyes. Imagine a personal paradise. What do you see, hear, feel? Let yourself become engulfed in these sensations. Allow your breathing to become slow and even, and notice your energy flow throughout your body. 
This will help you feel refreshed and rejuvenated. Number two, take a hint from the mermaid friend and let yourself be soothed by calming waters. Um, a walk near a beach or a lake or a rest near a bubbling fountain can bring inner tranquility. Number three, are you finding it difficult to relax? A change in environment can be most helpful to reducing stress. A short um, getaway from some for some pampering at a spa could just be what your body and mind need to chase away the stress. Yes, that stress. So it's time, you know, for self-healing, for self-love. Um, let go of all that responsibility that you've you've taken on um, because it's your time now. Okay, I love you guys. Let me know if this resonates. Peace.